All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hopefully y'all can hear me, but hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Uh, we are here, we've just uh, gotten our the beginnings of our reptile house set up and uh, had a little bit of a tight situation with the finances last time, but I think that's, um, I think that's sorted now. I think, think we're doing better. We'll go ahead and hit play again. Right as I say that, we lose $1,000. That's always a great sign. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Um, so hopefully everybody can hear me okay, and uh, we're gonna continue on and see what we can uh, do here. Ho hopefully this is uh, this is gonna work out because I really want to build our river otter exhibit, and we're gonna be putting it like right here. And I've got some cool ideas for what we can do that. So welcome everybody to the stream. And um, all right, we've got an inspector arriving. It sounds like. And so far, I think, man, there's a lot of balloons just floating off. Look at, look at the balloons just floating away. There's like, there's a few of them up there. There's like four of them on the screen right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, vet research is complete. Let's go ahead and check on that. I think, all right. Uh, we got a little bit more research on one of the illnesses. We're making some good headway with that. And uh, that's always something that we want to see. Now I'm going to start, okay, our money is going up overall, I think. So I'm going to start kind of flattening out some of this area and um, kind of getting this set up a bit more for where we're going to put the exhibit. And I want to do something kind of cool. I'd like to do like a sort of waterfall exhibit. I've kind of been thinking about what I might want to do with it. And I'd like to try to put in a waterfall. I think you can do that. I think I understand how to do that. If we look at it, it'd be construction, wouldn't it? Special effects. So I think if we look, um, there's, yeah, waterfall. Okay, so yeah, you've got, you've got these waterfall things. And we could try to put in some of these effect emitters. Waterfall cliff formation. Oh, what is this? Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you can kind of just put it in like that. So yeah, you can do it. It's not quite the same. I'm more used to the sort of system that we see in um, places like uh, like Zoo Tycoon was the game I used to play, and I remember you could make waterfalls in that as well. Um, but I haven't actually tried doing that in Planet Zoo yet. Now the other thing that I wanted to look at, because I believe if we look at our Cayman exhibit, these guys got moved, are getting moved to the Trade Center. Or have they been moved to the Trade Center? I'm not actually sure. They might be in transit at the moment. We open our animal storage. Um, Callie and Tristo, okay, yeah. So they're in, um, they're in storage at the moment. Uh, but what, one thing I do want to make sure we do as well is to uh, kind of get the, um, the gharials sorted out a little bit too. Now, I don't know how old the babies are. We had seven baby gharials born last time, 8.1. So if we look here, it looks like, oh, it's not going to be 10 years like the uh, Caymans probably, actually. It's going to be more like 14 to 16, looks like. So, oh my gosh, these guys are getting pretty old, too. Um, hey, hey, Cam, welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, I think it's working. It should be. Hey, Rain. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, well, it's good, 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 I'm glad to hear it. So these guys are age a little bit more slowly. Hopefully the otters, let's actually look at the otters, because we've picked a lot of, oh good, thank you for checking on that. Uh, we've picked a lot of the, uh, animals that, um, that age very slowly, apparently, and that can be difficult when they have babies like crazy, <laughs> and then we have a ton of them and we can barely afford the food. Uh, hello, Lizzie Gamer, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're glad to have you here. <laughs> So, um, I want to make sure that we're not going to have that problem again. So, giant, it would be a giant river otter, right? Giant, oh, there's, yeah, okay, giant otter down here. Giant otter, not giant river otter. Um, but let's see, if we look at species data, 17 years. So, that's a little bit better, I think, than the caimans, which live 50 years, and the gharials, which live, um, f yeah, also 50 years. Oh, my goodness. Uh, does it say... Oh, it says... Four, okay, so 14 years is when these guys grow up, and 10 years is when these guys do. Okay, so I was right. So you can actually see that data in there. I just forgot to check on it. So the otters will be a little bit more manageable, I hope, than uh, some of the caimans and the uh, the gharials in terms of lifespan. Uh, we're low on cash again. It's okay. Uh, we're we're, we're going to be okay, right? Okay. Mechanic research is complete. 
we are starting to get some more drink shops, which is good, and more vet research as well, which is also quite good. Cowpox virus. Um, let's see here. So what I want to do is... I'm going to fast forward time a little bit because we're kind of coming up on the end of the day and we're not going to be able to see too well. And this will give us the chance to um, get some more cash inflow as well. And um, we also got to keep an eye. Oh, we finished researching the Goliath frog, so that's good. Let's take a look at uh, the research for that. Oh, and speaking of, the frogs have had offspring. We got to make sure because these guys in the exhibits breed really fast. Okay, so the snakes are pregnant again. <laughs> They're going to have more babies. But oh my goodness, wait. Um, oh, did we mark? Huh, did we mark which was the original? If we look here, we should be able to see. Okay, so. Oh, I think it was Lutalo. We got to mark the originals with O. Because we look at, all right, let's look at, not Lutal, let's look at uh, Dada. Oh, that's a pretty good frog, though. All right, captive birth. Okay, so it's Lutalo who is our original. We always want to make sure we mark them so that we don't lose the parents. Um, and if we look at over here, if we look, or no, if we look at genetics, we hit compare mates. And we look at uh, Manifa. Uh, why is wealth, oh, group size, that's why low welfare is a thing. Okay, so we're looking for near maximum longevity and pretty high fertility, I'd say about 80%. Um, now I did see that, oh, let's put some of these. This is another reason welfare is a little bit lower. This might cost some money though, um, but that'll help keep the welfare of the frogs up. But if I did notice Dada has uh, the golds right there, so that's a pretty good frog. All right, 75 longevity and 83 fertility so i think that's the maximum fertility we could have from this pairing but i don't think uh maximum longevity because i think we can get up to 100 so we're gonna move him and we're not going to uh keep him but we and you are not as good either yeah okay so we're gonna go ahead and we'll put you in the trading center because i think let's just check again and make sure if we look at the genetics here we hit compare mates these guys can go all the way up to maximum longevity, and so that's what we're going to be looking for, because I think these guys, yeah, they've got they've got a while yet. <laughs> they seem to live for quite a long time. If we actually look in our Zoopedia at the, um, uh, where is it, Goliath Frog, right? Goliath Frog? Goliath Beetle, Goliath Bird Eater, Goliath Frog. There we go. 18 years. So we've got a little bit of time left. <laughs> uh, we don't have to worry too much. Also, welcome to everybody who's just showing up for the stream. Uh, we're just uh, taking a little bit of a break to look at our frogs. And we're going to actually quick trade some of these guys out. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And that'll help give us a little bit of extra cash. $500 is not too bad for, uh, for a frog, though. Um, but not not the best we could have even the way uh, that was a gold star for, or a gold rated frog So let's continue on. I'm just trying to skip through the night so that we can actually build our otter exhibit And uh, our finances are going up, which is good to see Because that's uh, something we definitely are gonna need more of if we're putting in the otter exhibit. Okay, that research is complete Let's take a look at that And the snakes are probably gonna have a baby soon, too. Okay, we've got a research done on cowpox Let's go ahead and make sure we keep our vets researching some of these different viruses so that, uh, any, or not all viruses, but the different illnesses, because we want to make sure that we don't have an issue with that. Now, have these guys had baby yet? No, not yet. Probably soon, but not yet. Um, vet research is complete. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We've got another virus or another uh, illness research, so that's good. Inspector arriving in two months, and it is getting to be early daytime. So we're almost to the point where we'll be able to see well enough to build these. But I just don't like building at night because it's hard to see anything of what you're doing. <laughs> um, and these guys will probably have babies soon. Also, we've got a little bit. Uh oh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Hello? Gary, or the Gariel exhibit has damaged barriers. Let's call the mechanic. Are you supposed to be coming every month? I thought you're supposed to, right? No. All right, we want the mechanic to... Well, no, we... Every three months is right, though, right? Yes. And, yeah, every three months is what we've got. Uh, maybe we should make it every month. Because that's a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay, inspector arriving. I want to be cautious because... 18%. Okay, the mechanic is fixing it. Good, good, good. No Gariel escape today. That wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> uh, 62%. That's a lot better off than where we were. 
All right, that research is complete, but I'm gonna go ahead, slow down. Oh, and the um, the inspectors here, the snake had her offspring. Let's go ahead and look at what's going on here. So we have Maria. Oh, Maria's pretty good. All right, let's take a look. And that's actually that might be uh, max for this uh, for these two. Let's take a look at what the options are here. So maximum will be 100%. We've got 92 and 83. And fertility can go up to 83, it looks like, probably, I would guess, based off Lewis. So if we look at the baby here, Maria, 92 and 83, that's definitely the best that we had. You know, I'm going to actually look at uh, exhibit trading real fast. Uh, Cam asked how I'm doing. I'm doing pretty well, uh, just getting settled in for the stream. I have to get back into the planet zoo mentality. It's been all, uh, over the weekend. I haven't really played. So let's take a look at the exhibit trading for the yellow anaconda and see, because I think, all right, we've got Eduardo. I don't think that would be worth, well, it could go up to maximum fertility, but the longevity would go way down. So how are our adults how are they doing on age i think i'm gonna actually so i'm gonna move maria to the trade center but i'm going to mark as keep question mark will that allow okay i can do that so i'll move her to the trade center we'll keep her in storage there but i'm actually not going to sell her yet um she may be one that we wish to keep actually <laughs> so let's see what our um okay came in exhibit and gariel exhibit so we'll let we, we can let the let's let the inspector do uh the inspector's thing here go ahead and see how the exhibits are and then we'll go ahead and get started on the uh on the otter exhibit because i don't really want to be building in the middle of the um inspector being here <laughs> we'll kind of give that a chance to settle down looks like the inspector is taking a look though i can see her down here and I think she's heading out. So there we go. Once she has left, we'll see what the report is. All right, let's view the report. Education is not great. We're working on that. Cayman exhibit is pretty good. Gariel exhibit uh, could be a little bit better. I think that's because if we look at one of the Gariels, let's look here. I think it's because we've got so many, yeah, that the navigable swimming area is lower than what it needs to be because we had seven babies last time and that's a little bit, little bit wild. So um, look at some of our Gariel babies right here. But yeah, so now we've got $7,000. We're going to go ahead and we're going to work on building the otter exhibit. Now I'm going to, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. So I'm going to smooth this down. We'll, we'll make this way smaller. I'm going to smooth this so that it lines up better with the path. And I think what I want... Let's see. I'm going to put first off... How much space do the otters need? How much space do they need? Where are they? Giant otters, right? Giant otter, right there. Um, if we look at natural habitat, 360 meters, 144 meters, and they need 72 meters squared of deep water. So I don't know exactly what will qualify as deep water, but I think we want to try... Maybe if we look at help, let's see, deep water, does it have anything on that? Hello? Can I... Nope, it's not going to let me search that. Okay, let's look here. Um, water temperature regulator. No, that's not it. Um, let's go back to home. There should be something here about no okay yeah i don't i don't really know um water depth there it is okay um by determining how much of the accessible water surface in a habitat fulfills the water its depth requ depth requirement all right so yeah i guess we'll just start and see how um see how it goes also welcome to everybody else who's new to the stream we got a few new people showing up um, let's see, I, w I think there's like a, even, um, there's a thick, okay, thick glass too. What, by the way, what, if we look at our otters, um, they only need grade two. It just has to be quite tall. Um, oh, I wonder if the K 
Cayman requirement is because of the water requirement, because the Caymans needed really tall water, or really tall barriers. I wonder if that's part of what's going on. If we look at concrete, does that dilapidate quickly? Because it feels like it, go it always is, get is running low. Uh, yeah, dilapidation rate is moderate. Okay, so that's something to maybe keep in mind. Um, corrugated red brick goes downhill really fast. So maybe that's why we're having so many issues with this, because the concrete barriers wear down quickly. But I'm going to go ahead and we'll put thick glass in, because we do want to make sure that uh, it's going to be pretty stable. I just want to make sure that we get this straightened, because I think, or smoothed out, because I think we got some spots where it's maybe not the smoothest. And I think overall we're doing pretty well with that. So let's go ahead and we'll start putting barriers in. Um... If we go here, oops, this is not, no, we have the right one selected, okay. So let's go, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit because I wanna try and keep it pretty straight if possible. Now I think, if I go this way, uh, we go over here, because at some point I think I'm gonna branch off, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's something we may... Well, uh, I'm going to be debating this because I want the otters to be visible. They need 360 meters of land, 144 meters of water, and this would be for one, and 72 meters of deep water. Um, up, so 2 to 15 to 9 males up to 9. So, yeah, it seems like they're... Pro we'd probably see quite a lot of them, honestly. Um, we could probably have quite a few otters. So if I go this way, let's try and see if we can branch. That's not what I wanted to put in. I want. I don't want to angle snap it. I want to have asphalt because asphalt is what we have elsewhere in the zoo. Hang on, is it not going to let me do this? If I do this. And we go, there we go, we can, we can do this then. Um, and we can start branching off that way. And we'll start branching off this way as well. And if I go like this, that'll let me do this. So, what I wanna do is I think, well, we might actually wanna raise, actually I think that's what we'll wanna do is raise, up. oh I know, yeah, I know how we can do this, all right. Trying to, ah, that's not what I wanted, all right. I'm gonna just undo most of that placement because what I wanna do <laughs> is I wanna have like a, a higher water area on the other side of it. So we'll have a pretty tall glass area and then we'll kind of have the zoo start climbing up, I think. And I'm worried this will be a little bit crowded, but I don't, I just wanna be kind of careful. So let's place this over here, let's start doing this, kind of placing some of this in. Well, that's a little too close. Let's place like right here and right here. And I wanna even go up a little bit more, I think maybe. I will, yeah, let's pull this up, kind of make this area here. It's gonna be a pretty steep incline, I think. So we want to have, because we'll kind of we'll kind of go into a mountainous area here, and then what this will be is we'll have like a little overlook over what exhibit is next to this, is the idea, sort of. So, yeah, we're putting some land in. <laughs> um, and then we'll have hopefully like a kind of waterfall area for the uh, otters as well, is kind of what I'm going for. Um, I've sort of got an idea. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So this will be our deep water, and I want the guests to have a really good view of the otters, if at all possible. Uh, we gotta smooth this out. Well, let's let's make this area a little bit bigger, though. And uh, whatever exhibit goes next to this, then this can serve. We'll kind of put in like a cliff as part of the barrier, basically, is the idea. Um, uh, we're gonna have to bring some of this up and some of this down, maybe? I do want to be careful. That's probably going to be too steep. I'm guessing that's going to be too steep. <laughs> um, let's see here. If we go with paths. If we go, yeah, that's very much too steep. All right. Hmm. 
So what I'm... Uh, the terrain is always the tricky part to get right. I'm going to wipe that out. But let's try and do it a little bit more slowly and see if we can keep it smoother because I really do want to be able to go up this way. Let's see if we can get a path in up here. No. Um, I think we got to make this a little bit taller maybe. And... We're gonna make this a little bit so, but we mostly because we want it to be smoother on the way up. Now I'm gonna try and expand this out too. There's a little bit of that. Now, if I try to put a path here, that would work. And if I make this a longer connection, nope, I don't want that. I want, if I go this way, nope, hmm. So we gotta make that even smoother, I think. This is the part that always takes some fidgeting to get right. Um, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit finicky at times. So let's try this a little bit more. Smooth this out again, and then we'll worry about putting in barriers here eventually. So let's go right over here, and then if I go, I will make this smaller. Um, if I go, I can't. Why can I not go right here though? Terrain too uneven. Oh, I wonder if we need to, like, smooth this, like, flatten the- make that area bigger, possibly. Might be the idea. That might be the way to go about this. I go- nope, it's still not even. Alright. Flatten the surface. Let's try that. Now can I put- okay, I can, but, um, it's too steep, I think. Let's try this. We'll see. Slight bit finicky sometimes. There we go. And if I go like this, we cannot do that. If I go like this, we cannot do that either. Why is this a thing? Why? Why can I not do this? I should like... No, nope, it's still too uneven. All right. Ha! <laughs> This is always gonna be very difficult to figure out, I think. All right, let's try, gonna bring this down a little bit. We're gonna flatten it like this. We're gonna try to smooth it now and see if I can get that to work. All right, if I go like this, now can I bring path up here? Oh, I can, I can start, I can start to bring path up here if I do this, then I can not connect there. <sighs> This is so tricky. <laughs> Alright, let's try... I kind of want this, like that. Try this. Can I path up here now? I can path like that now. I can path up there. Alright, so we've got kind of the start of it, I think. So what we got to do now is we got to smooth it out even further. Um, let's try pushing this down a little bit. And then I want to do flatten the surface, I guess. We'll try this. Uh, maybe just a little bit raised on this side. And we'll try and flatten again. And then we'll try and smooth. Because I think we can kind of just inch our way up this way. In sort of this kind of fashion. Yeah! Now that's starting to work. Let's angle snap it because I do want it to be a fairly straight path. No, I don't want it to be two. I just want it to be one at a time. And then we'll start building our way up here. And we're getting there. We just want to continue. Well, I'm going to continue to raise it a slight bit because I think we can go a little higher. Um, and welcome to everybody who's just popping in the stream. I see we got a new... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I see we got a few new people. So welcome to everyone who's just joining us. We are working on terraforming for a river otter exhibit. And we're getting there slowly. It's a process. <laughs> it is a definite process. So if I go paths, that's too that's still too high. Alright, what I need to do is not like that. Um let's push just a slight bit. And then we'll smooth this. Maybe now? No. You know, if I do flatten terrain, nope, that'll like straight up flatten it. Um, so what we gotta do is a little bit further down. So the pads in this are apparently incredibly finicky, which is not a thing that I totally remembered how- just how- how finicky it can be. But we're getting there. 
All right, let's go this way. Now we can go up. Let's try this. We'll go at a little bit of an angle. We'll kind of fan this out. Now we've got to continue to make this area be what it is. Let's smooth this out. And we're getting there. Um, oh my goodness, though, I don't like, it's bumpy, but if we can get, if we can get in another, um, another area up here, then that'll help. Oops, that's not quite what I wanted. Nope, that's not what I wanted either. I want to pull some of this up. We really want to make sure, okay, let's try to flatten this area out. This will probably be a good size. And then the idea is we'll have mostly kind of a land area for the otters up top, and then the big water area in the front is kind of what I'm going for. Um, let's try and bring some of this out. I don't want to leave any weird little gaps. I don't know if it'll like get somebody stuck in there or something. I don't, don't totally know what's going to go on with that. So we want to be kind of careful. But let's make sure we smooth this. And this is definitely not going to be traversable, is it? Uh, if I put path, nope, it certainly is not. All right, we got to make it a little bit flatter. Um, hmm. Let's kind of push some of this down. And then maybe if I go like this, that'll help. Kind of make a little, little pathway up this way. And then uh, we'll make a pathway up this way as well. And we'll kind of smooth this out. This is starting to be better. That worked. All right. And I want to continue to raise this up. Let's flatten this, make that more like that, and then we'll kind of flatten this out. And I think we're getting there. All right, it's gonna be very lumpy for a little bit. I probably will try and kind of resurface some of these path areas once we get them working. So if we go like this, that should work, right? And then I want to, if I do, can I do flatten the foundation up here? So that'll, yeah, this will make it uh, a straight path, basically. And we can do this. And I'm actually going to clear out this path for a moment then. Because I do flatten the foundation. Oop, that still sticks up. Let's continue to flatten the foundation. And now we can smooth. And we'll do that. And this will help us kind of get, all right, let's, we'll do a little, I'm gonna have to remove this path too, because that's what's preventing it from smoothing. All right, I'm just, oops, that's not what I wanted at all. Want, not like that either. I just want to smooth, all right, if I do flatten the foundation on the area, it's already flat. Now we should be able to smooth. That'll help us, I think. And hopefully now we can start to work on, ah, no. All right, if I do, this is tricky. Someday I will figure out more of what's going on, but today is not that day. <laughs> um, or we'll see if it is that day or not. I don't think it is though. All right, let's, if I go up here, maybe I can, maybe coming down will be easier. Um, I do this and then I smooth this out. There we go. That'll start to be better. There we go start to bring it down kind of this way. I'm going to remove this. We will continue to smooth this out because I, I want it to be smoother. All right, there we go. Let's continue to bring it down this way. Oh, there there we go. We're start, starting to get there. But I am going to remove... Nope. All right. If I remove that... There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, let's, um, let's continue to smooth this. Because I think we're very nearly there. I think we're pretty close. So let's see if I can do it like, oop, like that, and then like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then we, it's got, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. All right, and we can kind of loop around up here. Now I don't know how much this is actually going to be. Um, hey, hello, consider the coconut. Welcome back to the stream. Um, I'm going to flat. Oops, I want to flatten the foundation because that keeps it flat uh, to the actual ground. So let's do this. Let's kind of, oops. Well, let's do something like this. Yeah, we'll make a little, little, little bit of a stepped thing to make sure that we're getting the whole, um, the whole ground settled and then we'll make it a little taller up here again. 
So we're starting to get there. And I think what I want to do is we'll start by moving this, move the barrier post to this corner. And then I want to be careful how we go about this. Terrain, I really want to kind of push through this. We'll make it go down even deeper here because this is a, an easier way to get some extra water depth and make sure we get the correct amount of, um, of depth for our river otters because that's what we are doing. Um, we are in the process of setting up our river otter exhibit and they need the new deep water, which is something we have not used before. So let's try and hopefully this will be enough for them. I'll kind of... I'm gonna flatten the surface down here. We will uh, make this a little bit smoother though. And um, what I think we'll do is we will s maybe start bringing some of the, uh, not path, some of the barrier up here. Um, hmm. So we wanna make sure, I'm gonna select this whole thing. We wanna make this a lot taller. Uh, we wanna go up quite a bit more. That's gonna cost some money though. <laughs> um, let's continue on up here. Go, I'm gonna make this just a slight bit smaller so that we can make the corner a little bit better. And then if we start going like this, that works. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now, I might have to take some of that back out again because I do want to smooth some of this. And then what I want to do is I want to have like an even taller area up here kind of. Um, and this is where we'll have like a big waterfall kind of thing because we'll have another pond sort of at the top. Um, I'm going to flatten the foundation up here. We'll make this kind of a big plateau area. And I do want to bring this up here because this is where we will have um, like our waterfall. So let's smooth this out a bit. There'll be another pond up here. And I think this will be where we kind of have... Um, so like, what, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. <laughs> um, actually, maybe, well... Maybe we'll have like a two-part waterfall kind of thing. Because we go to, where was it? It was construction. We've got waterfall cliff formations here. So this one is a little bit of a bigger one. And if we went down here, I do that. We've got, hmm. I'm not totally sure what we're doing here. So let's make... I haven't done too much with the water exhibits yet, so I'm trying to figure out how they all work and wanting to make them look nice and good and everything. Because um, I think I definitely do want this to be water. We want there to be kind of a path in and out of the water here. And we've got to make this smooth. Because um, this will kind of be part of the entrance and exit to the water. So this will be kind of an area that I think hopefully they'll be able to go up and down. But I also want, let's make sure we flatten the foundation this whole area because this is gonna be where part of where we want our path to go around. Um, and that's probably gonna be too close. So we wanna make sure we smooth this all out. And I think we're getting closer now. We'll have a little bit of land area over here. And I think, oops, I kind of want to pull some of this up, but we want to make sure we keep it nice and smooth. So I'm going to start wrapping our path around as well. Um, let's make sure that we flatten, I'm going to flatten a little bit more of this and we can tweak it later. So let's kind of go around this way. We will make sure we kind of wrap around. Somewhere, hmm. The difficulty is somewhere we want there to be, like, a, a keeper entrance, too. I think what we might have to do is have, like, a, the entrance be somewhere along here. Unless, well, no, but that would be... Hmm. Oh, I know what we can do, maybe. 
this is going to be even weirder. <laughs> um, if we've got like a tunnel coming in, sort of. All right, I have to. Yeah, this could get wild. Um, hmm. I think this might be too small, too, is the other problem. We want to make sure, especially because we're having uh, paths go, like, all the way around. We want to make sure that we don't make it too small. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll try and have our barriers go... I'm going to remove this, remove this, try and have our barriers kind of go up this way, a little bit further back here, and then we will um, do a really long barrier here, a long piece of it this way, across the back, and then that's where we'll put our entrance, we'll put our habitat gate. Um, put a glass habitat gate in. That's pretty cool. And that'll give us a staff path. And what I want to do, we're going to have to raise this way up. We might have to pause midway through and, um, <laughs> uh, and, and change some things or, and, and get some more income coming in because we are spending a lot of money on this, but I'm almost thinking, so we do paths, go back to normal path. How do you do this? Not like that. Um, I think... Not, uh, I can't remember how you do off the ground paths. Um, there is, there is a way. There is a way. Um, if I look here... I didn't let me search last time, let's see. Um, basics, path controls. Adjust height, shift plus up and down, okay. Um, shift, oh there we go, there we go, okay. Um, so if I, because I want to keep this up off the ground, I do this. That's too close. I continue to, wait, shift and then, oh my, oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted. Wow. All right, let's, um, let's try something like this. Go like this. And then we'll kind of go around here. If I start to bring... Oh, that's really high. Okay then, um, not quite that high. No, no, please go back down. Please go to a reasonable level again. No, I have messed things up. I have really messed things up. Alright, so what I need to do then is I'm going to make some of this null barrier. Um, we will change this out. Or we'll change like this whole section to be null for now and um we will bring this i think we will move this closer and what we'll do with that is i will start to shape some terrain we'll kind of bring that up and it's not even gonna let me do that all right let's select that again because i gotta get rid of it for the time being uh that's not what i wanted i want the barrier all right, let's select this area. Edit barrier. We will go this way and then we'll remove some of this. I want to get rid of this whole section. Um, and what I want to do is bring this over here. We'll make it... In fact, I'm going to just remove everything outside of the actual door itself. Because I'm going to try to do... <laughs> uh, what ha Okay, what habitat are the otters from? They are from Amazon River Basin, so tropical, aquatic, and grassland. So we're going to want to, yeah, that's right, they fit kind of with the tropical theme. So let's go to biome, we will go to tropical, and we will go to rocks. And we will do, not the moss rocks, I just kind of want the normal ones for now. Let's see if we can, don't want to snap position or rotation. I want to do is kind of have some big rocks on the side of this. Maybe even bigger ones, because I think we might have some of those somewhere. Rock one is pretty big. Alright, let's put some of these along here. We can do this. We can do this. And we will kind of 
what we'll do is we will put a rock over top of it kind of to or you know what would be better maybe would be some of the cladding the, yeah the cladding works um if we do something like this uh oh here comes the trash truck again <laughs> um <laughs> it's twain oh my goodness yep 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 <laughs> That's brilliant, oh my goodness. All right, um, let's see, let's scoot this. Um, and what we'll do is I'm going to actually put some terrain over top. If I do terrain stamp, I should be able to shrink down, not width, I want two still, but I want height. If I go up, we can put it over the top like that. This is gonna get a little bit wild for a minute here, so bear with me. Um, Cause what we can do is we can actually put a path up here. I don't want you to be connected to this though. I want, no, I want, okay, I don't know why. Let's do terrain, let's um, flatten the foundation up here. This might look kind of, uh, kind of rough for a little while. Um, but we'll have it actually cross over the top here, basically. Now, I do want there to be the um, path down here still, so we might have to, if I push that, that'll get rid of some of that without messing up the top, I think. All right, we can do that. Start to make a tunnel. This should be accessible, right? Oh no, I broke the top though. No. All right, I think we're good though. And I do want to add in staff path. We just gotta make it a little bit smaller. And I wanna also terrain flatten to foundation again down here this time. Um, oops, that's not quite there. Let's make this a little bit of a small, that, not that small. Um, make it a smaller, a slightly smaller area. And did that punch a hole in the top? It did not. I don't think so. No, all right. So, we'll kind of have like this little tunnel area here, and then maybe this can go down into another area somewhere, but I do want to make sure we've got this whole area kind of worked out. Um, and this is getting more complicated than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, but let's put our path in. What? Well, I guess we'll use the path that it gave us here. So we'll do this, we'll make sure that we run this out. And we can probably do, if we raise the terrain here, if we do pull, we can, we can make kind of a, a pillar there, which is fine. We'll kind of make a little bit of a, an area where it's um, connected. I do want it to make sense under here, so we'll make this into more of a cliff than anything else. And what we should have now is a tunnel around this path. We'll make, we'll dress that up. We'll make that look nicer later on. Um, and what we can do is kind of bring this out a little bit, start to kind of make that a little bit better. And then what we'll do is we'll run our main path over the top. And I think I should be, well, that should be pretty good. So let's add in a little bit more. Yeah, we're definitely probably, we're most likely gonna have to pause for, um, uh, we're most likely gonna have to pause work on the habitat construction to make sure that we can earn some more income because we are starting to run low on that. But uh, Tropical Rock 11 looks like it might help us. Let's kind of add some of this. I just wanna make sure we kind of get this top area filled in. Not like that. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, that's a very big rock. Let's kind of bring this one in. Kind of go here. And let's go... Alright, what? I go like this. That'll start to help us. Yeah, we're getting there. And then we can kind of bring this up. And we'll kind of put that there can kind of run some of these over here. We want to put some larger rocks in because we've got to fill this area up is the idea. Um, maybe not like that though. That's a really big one. That's also a quite a large one. It's a very big boy rock. Um, maybe not quite that large of a rock. That's an even bigger one. My goodness, okay. Um, let's go down here. And 
try to place this kid. Uh, well. All right, let's see. I think we're getting there. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. <laughs> um, if I put in this up here, well, maybe not there, but if we bring that down, that should kind of help fill in this above the, uh, above the fence, maybe? Maybe? I think so. I think this will work. Or not, yeah, above the, above the gate is what I was thinking. We'll kind of do something like this and kind of blend this into here. And that will allow the uh, staff to be able to enter. And I think we should be okay, hopefully. Well, let's try, this one's a little smaller. That'll, that'll fit better here. And there we go. I think, well, I don't quite like the top too much. <laughs> we'll add a little bit more in. But I think as long as, maybe not, that one's huge. Finding the right rocks can be surprisingly tricky. Um, hmm. Maybe we do want, no. I swear there's ones that are especially good for stuff like this and they're just escaping me. Um, if I put seven, or we'll put four up here. I know four is a nice flat one, kind of across the top. Oh, that'll help us, that'll help us. Yeah. And then we can start to fill in the gaps with some of these smaller ones. And kind of make this rock face somewhere in here. Um, if we do something like this, maybe that'll help. And then what we can do, we can keep putting a few of these in here. In fact, maybe I'll even try to put... Maybe if we just put another four rotated at a different angle, that'll help us. That might, yeah, that, that works, that works. All right, so now we've got kind of the entrance built in and I can continue to shape the train like this around the rocks. And we'll start to try and, um, we can start to try and put the paths in on top. So what I want to do is we got a flattened foundation. Let's let's try. Okay, let's try. I'll bring this out this way. Kind of start putting paths around here, probably, because that way they shouldn't be trying to connect. And then we can run them over the top, and hopefully they will not try to connect. Um, but if we run them too close, they will. No, nope, that's not what I want. Why can't you train too uneven? Is it not? Oh, it's not thick enough, probably. So I gotta come down here. We gotta thicken it out a little bit more. The terrain can be a little bit funky sometimes. Okay, maybe it's not gonna, no, it might not let us run it right over the top of the gate, actually. Um, we might have to go up even a little bit further. Let's try and I will place a little bit extra up at the top. And if we go to the stamp, we can put some right here. There we go, and now we can try to sculpt that. And that should help, hopefully. <laughs> um, terraforming in this game gets a little bit funky at times. But I think this will help, and we should be able to put path up here now if we go over here. That's not where I wanted you to put it. No, put it on top. Put it on top. There we go. We can run all the way over the top. All right. So we've got that going. Um... Do I need to bring the barrier all the way up now is the question. If I edit it to make it taller, yeah, we'll bring this up and then, oh yeah, it shows how high off the ground it is. So this will be our tallest point. Um, it needs to be at least 5.94 feet. So this will kind of set the, um, the tone for the whole thing. Does that, it only counts this as part of the barrier, huh? All right, let's see. So we got, let's make it six feet. But there we go, all right. Um, I'm gonna actually remove all of this because we want it to be all the same height and so we'll start working from back here. Now I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit and can we try to angle snap it? We can. All right, we'll do that. And we'll do, we can't angle snap on that or we, can, we need to make it shorter on this side. 
There we go. Now we can do this a little bit more. Well, uh, we want to make sure we, we fix the terrain though first. So actually I'm going to not have that be quite so dramatically large. We will not do this apparently either. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right. Let's do terrain. We'll try. Oops, that's not what I want. I want to pull this out a little bit more. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I think we should be good if we keep trying like this. Then what I can do is I'm going to flatten this whole area out based off of this. And what we'll do is if we're going to have an additional upper area, we'll put it over here. And we'll have this be the additional upper area kind of extended off of this. And this will bring down somehow. Let's fill in this. Oh, that's not what I want. I want to fill in this area though. We will kind of fill this out. And um, I want to start to kind of we'll kind of we'll keep the we'll keep the um, staff gate kind of wrapped around hidden, I guess. Um but what we'll do is we will make sure we try to smooth out some of the area up here because we want to make sure that the otters can actually climb it. And so that would be ideal if, if we can have kind of like a little bit of a, a stepped area, sort of. All right, let's try and deal with that. And I think we should be good. Hopefully so. Right, let's see here. I think hopefully at least some of this will be traversable. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will or not. Let's try and bring this out a little bit further maybe. And try and work on this. I'm going to bring this area around and we'll bring this area around and now we should be able to smooth some of out. And that, I think this will be walkable area. One would think it would be, at least. It looks like it should be. And then we've got kind of this cliff here. Um, and that we can bring around, because I got... Oh, you know what? You know what we can do? Um, we can extend... Oops, not quite like that. I want... Flatten the foundation here. We'll bring this directly around, pretty much, is the idea. Um... We'll bring the, we'll make this path be what wraps around. In fact, I want to kind of make this a little bit taller here. Because this will be what starts to wrap around. And then I will smooth that way out. And we probably need to do even like another smaller step here. Yeah, that'll work better. And if we smooth this, I want to make sure that we get this whole area. This will be something better to walk up of, uh, here, I think. So let's try... It. Oh, it is going to let me path there. All right, I'm going to remove this end path just for a moment because I do want to smooth that out a little bit. We got some weird choppiness going on. But I will go up here. We'll start to kind of bring the path up and around. And this will go around the back of it. So I like the shapes that we're starting to see uh, kind of developing here. I think those will be good for what we've got. We just got to kind of keep developing them for the time being and there we go we're getting there so what i want is i want to make like another midway step here and we'll start to smooth this out again make sure we keep trying this seems to be the way to get paths to actually work is to kind of do those little mini steps uh, i think i i actually am starting to figure it out um which is not something I thought I would be able to do today. But I think, I think I'm finally getting the hang of the pads, because those pads don't look too wonky. Um, we're actually starting to get them to work. So let's bring this out. I think we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. And we can go ahead, we'll smooth again. Might even need to do another little mid-step, but maybe not. We'll see. Um... Probably, though. Let's just do a little bit here. And then we will once again smooth. And once again smooth the top. And that should work better, I think. All 
right, let's try and path up that. Yeah, we're getting there. And then this will probably kind of, um, I don't want to do that just yet. This will connect up probably kind of, not, um, it'll probably be pretty straight when it connects to the, um, uh, the path up there is the idea. So let's go this way. And we'll try and flatten some of this out. Um, I do want to flatten this area a little bit more though, and I want to flatten this area as well because we are kind of not, it's not smoothing out quite the way I was hoping. So let's do this. And now can we path up this pretty well? I think we can. And if we continue on, we're very close, I think. Definitely getting there. Also, hello to everyone who's new to the stream. I see a couple new people popping in. Uh, welcome. We are just finishing up with the uh, River Otter exhibit here. Uh, or, well, not finishing up, but we're finishing up getting the paths worked out for, which has proved to be a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. Um, so let's... Uh, that's still too... Um, too difficult to go up. Yeah, I don't know. The pathing in this is really tricky to actually get right. <laughs> Uh, it does not like to cooperate, uh, it likes to be very much a pain and uh, never behave itself and never do what it's supposed to do. But I think we're almost done fighting it, and I think if I do that, it's a little bit of a lumpy path, but you know what, it's, if it's a functional path, that's most of what I care about because I, I'm kind I'm starting to accept that we're probably not going to be able to make it non-lumpy in this game. <laughs> It just is a little bit too... Oh, we might need to remove some of this path, though. It's just a little bit too finicky if, um... Or to be able to be totally non-lumpy. Just a li little bit too picky. Um, but I think we have just about got this smoothed out enough for us. Hello. Oh, like this would work, though. Um, go a little bit further this way. And then like this, and it's not actually going to connect. All right, that's super. Um, we go a little bit further. Hello. Oh, maybe. All right, I think we need to smooth it a little bit more though, just a little bit, make it a little bit more even. Um, we do this. Uh, maybe. I think I need to maybe go more like that. Um, oh, we've got a big bump there. That's what's going on. All right, let's smooth this out even more. See if we can get rid of some of that. Hmm. All right. I do this. That'll hopefully help me break it down a little bit more. And if I can do that, then that should break down some of the larger bumpiness. Uh, let's flatten to foundation again just a little bit smooth this. We might have to remove this path too to make it work. So let's go back and continue smoothing this out because I think we're almost there. <laughs> yeah, it does make a pretty satisfying sound. Um, and the, a lot of the a lot of the sound effects in this game are very um, very very nice ones for sure. All right, oh, there we go. All right, we've got it. I'm not gonna fool with it more than that for now. <laughs> um, so let's make sure when we do this, um, I want to flat, well, let's, let's flatten the foundation. Let's try and uh, flatten out some of these areas because we always want, when the otters are up here, we always want them to be visible. So what we can do, we can do a little bit of, um, we'll, we'll put some rocks there, I think, but we also want to make sure that we've got this area. We need to make this smoother, but I think we've got, for the most part, this all worked out. And I think let's push down here because I want that to be a little smoother. Maybe we'll put some rocks there too. Um, I think we're very much getting there. We're starting to. Right? Oop, that's not quite smooth though. If I bring, well, because I want, uh, if we do this, that'll help. That'll help some got that. We've got this. Yeah, that's that's starting to be more so. Alright, this is getting a little bit better. And we've kind of got the, um, the gist of this going on now. Alright. 
Now, well, the other thing that I want to do is make sure that this whole area is a little bit smoother. We might have some rocks there. Um, and maybe this will be where we put the waterfall, actually, now that I'm seeing it. Um, let's move this a little bit. Maybe we'll have, like, a... We could, we could put, well... Hmm. How do we want to do this? I'm going to smooth out this area a little bit more. Like this. And I do want to remove some of this. We'll kind of try and make that a little smoother. We'll kind of make this smoother too. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I want it down here. I want to make sure we're smoothing this area. Maybe we're, we may not be able to have a waterfall as much as I was hoping. Um, yeah, we may not, unless we have like just a little area here or something, we may not be able to have a waterfall. We might, we might actually, actually, actually hold that thought. <laughs> um, if I go here, if we smooth out this area, and I do want to make, oops, I do want to make this a little bit more smooth. We're getting there. All right, let's go ahead and smooth this out. And I think if we can do that, we should be able to make this a little bit of a better area for that. Now, I do you want it to be deep water? This is gonna have to be the actual entrance in, I think. So let's do flattened foundation here. Actually, up here would make a better entrance, wouldn't it? I think it would. So we probably don't want then... I'm going to flatten this whole area out because we don't want anything that's really that much lower than that. Because um, this all is going to be water. So anything that's lower than that... Anything that's lower than this is going to be water area, pretty much, is the idea. So we'll do this. We'll have, like, a big area right in the front of the, uh, the paths. We will try and smooth this out. And this is probably the most labor-intensive, uh, exhibit that I have done so far. That's not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you over here. Just want to make sure that we get this kind of, um, worked out. And we'll smooth this so that the floor is a little bit more smooth. And then we'll smooth this. And I think we're almost ready to put the front one in. Um, if we have, like, the front... Yeah, I think we're ready to put the front water pretty much in, or the front walls pretty much in. Make sure we smooth this out, though. And then I do want to start extending the barriers down here. Because I think we're ready to do that. So let's go up here. That is too long of a barrier, apparently. That is also not a barrier we can do. Why can I not put a barrier there? Hello? Why is this terrain too un- oh, terrain too uneven. Huh. If I do that, then we can move it, maybe. That should work. Alright. Now we can bring this down. I'm guessing maybe there's like a tiny little pocket or something that I did not get filled in properly. And that's what's tripping it out. Alright, I want to turn off the uh, snapping a little bit. Let's do this. We may have to wait a little bit to actually put the otters in, but I'm hoping we can still get- oh boy, never mind, we're maybe not even gonna be able to do this. We might have to pause a little bit, but we're starting to get there. Um, yep, yeah, nope, that's- we are running out of money! Alright, we gotta unpause and uh, let the zoo run for a little bit more. Inspector arriving, what's going on here? No security guards, it's fine, it's fine. I am gonna pa uh, I am gonna save the game though, because we want to make sure we do that. But yeah, we barely have money, so we need to, uh, <laughs> we, we gotta wait a little bit. Low on cash, yep, and we're back in the negative. This could be a, a problem. Uh, but I think it is starting to go back up. What did I, because most of that was expenses right yeah we're, we're we're getting we're getting close to the positives again so um yeah we're doing okay i think as long as we're starting to and we'll be able to sell some of the garials soon too and that'll help with the uh, income situation up mechanic research is complete let's take a look 
Also, oh yeah, I did want to look as well now that it's a new day because there wasn't any the last time. But let's go ahead, we will pause. And I wanted to look because we have one uh, came in at the moment in the exhibit. If we look at uh, Marina here, I wanted to try and see if, and I don't know why these guys are still counting as in the exhibit. I guess that's maybe because that's where they were from, but I want to see Marina, I wanted, we wanted, I wanted to see if we could find a mate for her, so we want to look at Caymans really quickly here. And let's go to the animal market. And here we're actually looking at some of them. Okay, so we've got, ooh, Marcus could be a good choice. He is gold. So let's take a look at uh, Marina here. Hmm, 67. So size wouldn't be so good. Immunity could go all the way up. Fertility could be pretty good. Marcus is a pretty decent option, and he's one that we could afford, so we definitely want to kind of keep him in mind. I want to see... Let's also look at Inacio. Inacio? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I know I know that song. Um, oh, I, remember, I remember the movie that's from, so let's take a look at Inacio as well. Hmm. Overall, not as good, I think, as Marcus, and Marcus is a little cheaper, too. There's another Tristeo for sale, I think. I think we'd be best off trying to adopt uh, Marcus, I think, because we look again, there shouldn't be any issues. Doesn't say that there's any relation, so they would it wouldn't be any issues with inbreeding. Let's go ahead and we will adopt Marcus, and we will try to put him in, in the zoo here. So let's, we want to move him to quarantine though, because uh, these guys, we don't have to do that with the exhibit animals. But these guys, you can have illnesses that come into the zoo. Um, so we definitely want to make sure that he is uh, going to be okay here. And that'll give us a little time to let our income go up as well. How are our animals doing? Um, none of the exhibit ones are pregnant at the moment. So I, it's something you really have to watch because you will always end up uh, having an overflow if you don't. And... Uh, they tend to reproduce at a very frequent rate. All right, let's see here. We are starting to get more income again. Gotta let it build up for a little while though. All right, uh, quarantine passed, ready to leave. So let's go ahead and we will move him to the Cayman exhibit here. And let's see, young adult, is he, he might be kind of an older animal actually, if I'm looking, it looks like he may be towards the uh, end of his, Adulthood, so we, we may not have a huge amount of time for him to be here, which is kind of might be a little bit of a problem. How are we? How are we doing with these guys? How are they? How old are they? Nine point two. So they take until about age fourteen to be considered adults, and so they've got a little bit uh, longer to go here. All right, Marcus has arrived. Yay! All right, ten point. Oh no, ten point six. Yeah, he's fine. All right. I didn't didn't know why it was uh, looking like he was older for some reason. I probably just misread it. But I think if we look at everything here is looking good. Um, if we compare again, so we should be able to see ones that are at least comparable, if not better, than both parents. So fertility, I think the max would be about the 83. We could get maximum immunity, which unfortunately that is a downgrade from uh, Marina here. But uh, longevity could be pretty decent, and size could be pretty decent. It, it, it's it's a pretty pretty reasonable pairing, I think. All right, can't find an accessible vet research. Oh, I think maybe they just kind of, um, kind of bulked, or they kind of, um, they may have doubled up a little bit. All right, we're getting closer. We are starting to see, oh, we've got a visiting player. I can't actually read your name. That's probably emojis. Uh, now these are, these are all, um, AI players too. It's not actually visiting, I think we determined. But let's see, no security guards, vet research is complete, and our finances are starting to go back up as we are, um, getting to the, uh, as we're, get, as we're getting towards dawn again. Oh, oh, and the frogs have had babies. Hold on, we need to take a look at that. All right, so we've got, yeah, the vets are having a little bit of trouble with that, it seems like, so they might be kind of bulking up, possibly, and, and having to queue... Um, how are people feeling about this? No recent thoughts. Uh, people like this. And there is a bathroom here, so... Oof, somebody is not, uh... Is this not... Hang on, is this not... Not heat map. Call mechanic... Or, I don't want to call the, um... 
I don't want to call a mechanic. I want there to be... I don't know if the maintenance workers... Oh, and we have... Yeah, that's right. This... Uh, we should probably raise staff salaries soon, too, because they have been down because we are running out of money. Um, but if we look at work zones, it does include... Our, it is in a work zone, I just don't know... Front gate right, if we look at this? No. Front gate left, probably. Do we have a cleaner in that zone? I thought we did. Um, caretaker... Oh, we don't. Okay, so I'm gonna assign someone to left because that bathroom looks like it's getting a little smelly. Um, power source, uh-oh. Uh, call the mechanic. That's gonna be a problem if that goes out. Uh, can I see... Routine visits, let's do every six months. Because that should help. And I think... We should be better with the finances again to be able to start putting in the water now. So let's let's maybe start doing- oh we needed to look at the frogs, we need to look at the frogs because frogs are also going to be unhappy due to overcrowding. Alright, social health is really bad. Um, there are two new babies. Okay, oh we've got a gold rated one. Alright, genetics pretty decent, but not as good as it could be I think. Let's look at what we're expecting again with the genetics. So I think um the originals there we go so we could we, we want we're looking for 100 percent longevity and like 80 percent fertility probably so if we're not seeing that we're probably not going to keep the baby so combo has 83 and 83 which is not horrible but not maximum either possibly we keep combo um but limber 83 and 67 okay so right now let's send her to the trade center and we want to mark combo as um, keep question mark, because right now he is our, our maximum. We are going to send him to the Trade Center as well for now, and we'll take a look later. And the snakes are going to have babies too, so we're, we're going to see more snake babies very soon. Alright, now that we've got $6,000, I'm going to continue building the, um, the fence here, and we will continue putting this in. Let's go here. And I think from this point on we can use longer barriers. But this is going to be quite an expensive endeavor. Can go a little bit of a shorter barrier because it is kind of a, a turn here. Yep. And then we can do a little bit of a longer barrier again. <laughs> Baby snake do 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 do. Yep. I hope that doesn't get copyright. That's it. Uh, yeah, hopefully not. I probably shouldn't sing because I think Twitch can be a little strict with that from what I've heard. But yeah. Um, let's go over here. And let's go here. All right, now what we can do. So we're we're definitely getting there. And um, I think now if we do terrain, we can look at the water. And this would be a valid water there. Yeah. Okay. So we've got kind of a, a nice. Oh, that's actually not as deep as I thought it was, though. It is a very big wall. Holy smokes. It's it's quite an impressive wall. I could probably get better with the wall design, but that's something we'll have to save for another zoo. Um so yeah, now that I'm seeing that, I want I actually want to um to make that even even deeper. So, yep, as it should be indeed. So I actually want to have even more water area because I don't know that it's deep enough. And I really want to make sure that uh, we have enough water area. So let's let's go over this way. We'll make this even uh, even deeper. <laughs> to keep the otters from yeah, yeah. You, we don't want the great otter escape either. Um, and man, the, these are the otters that are kind of intimidating looking. <laughs> uh, they, we're gonna see how they look in game. I actually haven't seen too much of how they look in game, but like in in real life, these otters are. I, I don't- I can't even explain it. I know I've said this, like, every time. I can't even explain why they're so intimidating. There's just something about them that is a little unnerving. <laughs> um, I am marginally scared of these otters. So, let's see. I think if we do this. And... Alright, I'm gonna remove some of this path because I want that to be smoother. There we go. We've got this, I think. Um, let's remove that as well. 
and we'll wor we're gonna work on trying to bring this path back down, I think. So let's go and do this. We've got a good amount of, um, of money at the moment, at least for the time being. Let's kind of bring this here, smooth this out. I gotta remove this path too, just so we can kind of make sure that it's easier to smooth. Great. We'll do this. Get a flatten foundation, flatten foundation. If you just kind of stepping stone your way down, it's not terrible, it seems like. Um, you just gotta be kind of careful about how you do it. So here we go. If I start on this, I don't want it to be too long. I just want it to be one. Right. And that works. Alright, we just want it to slowly curve. That's not a horrendously lumpy path either, which is good. Alright, let's continue doing flatten foundation like this, and then like this, and like this. And if we keep doing that, we should be able to get down, hopefully, at a reasonable pace. Um, I do want this a little bit bigger. Um, and I want this a little bit bigger. We want to make it smooth. There we go. So let's continue on with the paths. Oops, I do need to smooth this out more, though. So let's try that. Let's actually add another flattened foundation in here. And we'll try and bring this down. Oh, and I, since I have been, uh, I did not pause to build. It is getting to be sundown again, so we might want to pause a little bit and wait for that to uh, pass. And I think I messed this up. You missed a few weeks ago. I didn't know giant otters were a thing. Right, the, the giant otters are going to haunt you forever now. Uh, now that you know, you cannot you cannot unknow. Uh, it's too late. They are a part of existence now. Just the way things are. Alright, like this. I'm going to extend this out a little bit more. And we'll extend this out a little as well. Let's bring this down slowly. Um, I do need to bring that back one, though, so that we can smooth it a little bit more. It's just gonna be kind of a lumpy path, I think. There's not a whole lot we can do to avoid that. I may get better at path design in the future at some point, but for the time being, we just gotta live with this. Um, I think... Oops. Hmm. I want to bring this down carefully. It's not like that. Not quite like that. More like this kind of thing. That should work, right? We do this. That should, I think. Let's kind of remove this. It's kind of a steep thing to have to descend is the problem. So let's keep bringing this around. We'll keep working until it really gets too dark to see. And uh, then we'll continue on. Alright, paths. We'll go this way. Nope, that's not right. Alright, we gotta remove this one then because we gotta extend this out. And we gotta do this. And alright, let's go over here. Takes a long time to get this to work, but it is fun to see it all coming together. I am excited to see how it turns out. But we gotta get there. Alright, flat foundation. We need this a little bit more. And I gotta remove this path. <laughs> Sometimes you have to backtrack a little bit to be able to move forward. We go this way. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's bring this in. And we'll try and smooth this out. Alright. Oops, I did not smooth up here though. And we gotta delete this one again to do that, I think. Um, just take some fidgeting. Is it handicap accessible? I would certainly hope so, but it's it, it's a little lumpy. <laughs> I think it's, uh, huh, it's, yeah, I don't know how this game is, uh, doesn't, doesn't always know what it's doing with the paths quite so much, which, the, to be fair, that's a difficult thing to actually get the game to be able to do because it, it doesn't work if it's too steep normally but hopefully it is I haven't had to use stairs yet outside of the um, the staff areas so hopefully 
Hopefully it works, I don't know. <laughs> um, if I go this way... Um, like this probably. Oops, and we gotta remove this. Let's see... Uh, 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 uh. Alright. Uh, nope. Apparently not. Let's try flattening it a little bit more. Hmm. How do I want to go about this is the problem. Because we've gotten down quite a bit. This one's, I think, even a little steeper. So maybe we can get it to go steeper. It just wants to, like, go straight up is the problem here. If, can I bring it up from the bottom, maybe? Here, if I, I do something like this, I could do that. And can I bring it up here? There. Does that work? That works, I think. It's a lumpy path, but I think it's a reasonable one. Okay, you know what? That that, that works. <laughs> this works, this works, we're good. Alright, so terrain, let's try and smooth some of this out. Oh, we've gotten, oh, um, do we get challenges? No, that's not, okay, that one's done. I don't know what, I guess maybe it was saying we'd finished three, or we're working on three, maybe. I don't know. But let's see. If we were to... Well, we gotta put the fence back in now, is the thing. So let's do that. Let's go around here. Oops, that's a really, really, really long fence piece. Uh, let's make it shorter here. There we go. Um, I want to curve section that, because we have a rather steep curve there. And straight section, straight section... Straight section, straight section, and then we can go up here. And I'm gonna bring this down a little bit smaller. We are probably gonna run out of finances though before we get up this uh, up this path, because yep, we are. All right, let's fill that with water though and see how much the water looks like there. Um, obstructed, obstructed. Oh, valid. Um, that's. Still not the deepest water, is it? Oh, no, we weren't. Oh, I paused it, I guess. I thought I did have it unpaused for a minute there, and I don't know why. You know, I think what it is is that um, we could make it a little bit more so, but we don't have... Um, like, we... Up here, it, it, would, it would flow out, is the idea. So, we gotta keep adding the... Um, the barriers in as we go up here. Oops, I'm going to shrink this a slight bit. Another VIP guest has arrived. Let's go say hello. Who is this? Mr. Nice Guy. Okay. I don't, uh, don't think I know you, but uh, hello and welcome to the zoo. Um, inspector arriving in three months. Well, we're not going to have this exhibit done by then, that's for sure. Let's continue going up. Uh, insufficient funds, great. Nope, all right, let's try and instead then we'll put some water in. Up here is valid now. So hopefully this will be adequately deep water. It, it's it's pretty deep. So um, let's though just make sure, oh, mechanic research is complete. Let's go ahead and uh, check on that. We got some more drink shop research in. And I'm gonna go ahead and we will actually push this down even further and I will flatten foundation down here. Because if it's not counting as deep water, this should help it count as deep water. And we definitely need deep water for the river otters. They definitely do want that. So let's go ahead and we'll smooth this out. Actually, I think the best way that I've found to do this is to hit pull and then use that to kind of soften the edge. And that tends to work, I think. Um, let's see. Go this way. Um, then that should work, right? I think, we go up here. There we go, we've got quite a large water area now. Uh, we do want to maybe make do some work on making, you know, I might, I might just, you know, I'm going to undo the water. I'm going to flatten out this hill, I think. I don't know if we'll still be able to do the waterfall or not, but I'm going to flatten this area. 
that research is complete. Nice. All right, let's, um, we'll keep the slopes area here. Uh, All right. If we do that, then we should be able to smooth this. We can put some rocks in there, potentially. But we'll see how much terrain area there is. It's a fairly large exhibit compared to, like, the Gariel exhibit or what, or the Yukiman exhibit. So I think we should have enough room, even if we're going to have more otters. And I think we should have good visibility. Um, let's just continue on for a moment. We'll start trying to place a little bit more path. I think I need to make that a little bit of a shorter segment. Right there. Oh, and our caimans are going to have babies again. Oh my goodness, we're really going to have to keep an eye on that because that got wildly out of hand last time and uh, that was not such a great thing. As fun as it is to have baby caimans everywhere, it's also a lot of uh, work and it's also a lot of money. And uh, both of those things are, are difficult to deal with for a new startup zoo that's constantly running low on finances. So we gotta watch that and uh, make sure that we don't let the baby situation get as uh, aggressively out of hand as it did the last time. Um, let's go over here. I think we've got this set up though now. Um, that should be good, actually. Low on cash. Yeah, I kind of figured. All right, let's see. We're very nearly here. I think if I smooth, I'll smooth smooth out the basin area some more. Um, and then what we probably would want to do is start. Oh, these snakes had babies. Let's see. <laughs> Baby came in indeed. Um, oh, and elderly. So these snakes, oh, I guess, okay, I guess maybe they still can breed. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe they wouldn't be able to, but let's, let's pause here. So we've got Martin. Um, I don't know. No, I don't think we are going to keep you. Oh yeah, we should go to the exhibit trading center because we've got a few animals that we can sell, I think. If I look at the storage, we can definitely sell Mart or quick trade Martin. Um... Let's quick trade. And we will also quick trade Limber. So there we go. The others though, we're gonna retain until we know if we're gonna have another, a better baby or not, basically is the idea. Um, otherwise we will sell them. So now let's go ahead and we'll try and put in the water one more time. I don't think we're gonna get to do a waterfall the way I was hoping, but we do have quite a lot of water area now. And uh, I think much of it is deep water uh, as well. You know, we could probably check that by maybe putting in one of the deep water um, the feeders, possibly. We'll see. But I think that that's got to count as deep water, right? I This would count as deep water. This has to count as deep water. I, I would assume it would. What is the area of the... Oh, I bet it'll tell us. Um, average water depth, nine meters. So hopefully that counts. Uh, land area, that is a lot of land area and that is a lot of water area. Wow, these are going to be some spoiled otters. Uh, giant otter exhibit. So that's like almost four times what they actually need, I think. <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully people will be interested in that. Uh, better to keep them spoiled and happy than not. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I would want an angry uh, giant otter. All right, it looks busy, so we probably need to train more of our staff. And I also, okay, let's start, you know, if we train the staff, it'll automatically upgrade their salaries. So let's maybe start working on that. All right, let's see. Let's, who, okay, of the, not of the keepers, of the vendors. Let's go ahead, we will send a couple of them for training. I'm gonna just do a couple of them. I have a new train as well. There we go. Yeah. Um, so let's see here. I think everything, well, at the, that was the info center that they said it's too expensive. People are very conflicted on the prices, so I think we're gonna leave them about where they're at. Um, and then what's this? Research complete, nice. All right. Um, we can't research the giant otters yet because we don't have them in the zoo. Um, and I don't know. I guess, yeah, it's probably just because there's three vets and two research centers, probably. 
So, I, what I think we want to do... Well, we also got to set up a staff area. Gosh, okay. Um... Um, I, what I bet we could do, let's start terraforming again. What I bet we could do is have, yeah, <laughs> I bet, you know, I bet these otters are not as scary as, as they look on the one hand, but also they do look quite scary. <laughs> um, but let's see here. I think... Maybe what we can do is have... Okay, I'm just gonna look at facilities. So, like, for example, if we did put in a large... Okay, let's look here. Uh, about the same as ever. And the, uh, Mar Marina is about to have babies, apparently. Look at her. Oh, she is very pretty looking, too. I always... You know, I just... I love the spots on the jaw. I know I've said that every time we've zoomed in close on these guys, but it's just... It's pretty. It's very pretty. I, I love those markings, um, but let's see if we go ahead and um, we'll, we'll watch her for a little bit, see if she has her babies here, because I think she probably will. Hopefully it's not too many. We may have to stop them from breeding for a little bit if there are a lot, but we also want to check on the gharials too, I think, and see how uh, old the babies are, uh, because they might be... Uh, about ready to grow up, and if so, we probably want to uh, sell some of them, because I think the number is going to be way too much for what the exhibit should actually have, and I think they'll start fighting if we don't catch that soon. Are you going to have your babies, Mama? She's just chilling. We, she may not be quite ready, so we're, we'll, we'll, we'll leave her be, I think. But I do want to check on the girls. As soon as we leave, she's going to have her babies, though. That's just the way of things. Oh, wow, they're all swimming. Okay. Um, I want to select Gariel. Hungry. Oh, but going to get food. Okay. Uh, ten years, so four more, and then they'll be ready. Our finances are going up, but what I'm almost thinking we could do... I want to look at the facilities here. Let's look at, like, the large keeper hut for one. Um, let's see. That would be right here. For example, if we look at this... We look at the negative impact on guests. It is quite a large area, but I want to see... I d I'm just going to temporarily run a path up here. So if we go... Like, let's go from here. Terrain too uneven for placement. Great. Um, I'm going to hit flatten terrain because that'll, that'll help us. If we do this. Um, we should see if it displays on... Oh! We got more research. Nice. We want to make sure these guys keep uh, researching the diseases. We're going to be great with the diseases once we're um, w w once we're done here. We're going to we're going to be doing just fine. Oops, not animal trading. I want to turn on the heat map and I want to check on the keeper hut, for example. So if we go here. It will. All right. Um. Hmm. Because what I'm thinking is we build a building and then we have like. The basement of the building is where we have the, um... Oh, and we're low on cash again. Yep. Uh, but the basement of the building is, like, where we've got the, um... Like, that would be where we, we, we've got the, uh... The staff stuff. But we probably have to make it, like, a really basement here. So I'm gonna remove... Okay, let's go to staff paths. We'll make it a four because we want it to be a, a four. And if I go here... Alright, if I go... I really want it to go down, though. Oops, like, right here. And then... I guess, yeah, I probably have to actually move it down. So let's do terrain stamp, let's remove. We'll do this. We'll go ahead and, um... Oops, I think I have to zoom. The camera is slow because I have moved it at a bad angle, I think. Um, but let's see if we can flatten out this area. If I start sculpting, we'll do flatten the foundation like this. And I think maybe I can now path down there, possibly. If I go right here, and then I go here, can I... Oh, I can go down like that. Okay. Yes. So we could do... If now, if I were to put... Hmm... 
let's let's try this. So what I want to do is I want to align the grid. We'll do the grid here. We'll do the grid here. We'll make a rather large building. We're gonna do like a five by five. And I think, let's see, that's a four by four. There we go. We can do this. And what we can do is, first of all, I'm gonna put in, uh, I don't want it to be paused. I want it to not be paused at the moment. We'll put in under construction, we will do, oh, I, I had to search for waterfall. That was, that was why I wasn't doing anything. Okay. Um, if I start putting in walls and we start doing this, gotta make sure that it lines up properly though. So this is not quite aligned. Okay, the inspector will be coming back. Why is the grid blinking? I don't really want the grid to be blinking. Let's put... So I brought it down further. If I do this, let's try and put... We'll try and put the keeper hut. I can't afford the keeper hut. All right, let's fast forward time a little bit until I can afford the keeper hut. If I were, if I were to put this like, you know, I wonder if I could probably remove, let's see, I could probably remove a lot of the internal stuff here. And then if the guest building goes up slightly, that might help. Um, If I do facilities, and we do, we could try to put in, um, oh, we, ha we can afford it now, okay. Let's see, where is the large keeper hut? Let's go right here. Right, let's turn it this way. Let's try and make, oops. If I do this, insufficient funds. Oh, it went back down. All right, never mind that then. Let's check on the Caymans too, because I, I bet the Caymans have had their offspring by now, and I probably didn't see it, but let's go take a look. Um, why does it, do I have to zoom in closer for it to go faster? Probably, okay. I'm just confused by everything that's happening. Oh, we do have baby Caymans, look at that. So let's go to the animals. Um, let's pause. So we have, Marina is our original, Marina and Marcus. We ha holy moly, one, two, three, four, five, six babies. Oh my gosh, again, good night. <laughs> All right, um, let's take a look at the babies and see if any of them are ones we're going to be keeping. So juvenile, all right, um, let's see. Genetics, size is not great. So first of all, what are we even looking for? Um, where is one of the adults? My goodness, this happens every time we just have an excessive amount of, uh, of, of caimans or of the gharials. Either way, all right, no, we gotta find one of the others because we can't actually select that one. There we go, Marcus is chilling over here. Marcus, can I select you please? Hello? There we go, all right. If we look at compare mates, we wanna see with Marina, is she? No, okay, I thought she was pregnant again, I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> but no, we're okay, we're okay. Um, so we're looking for slightly above 50 size, slightly above 50 longevity, about 83% fertility and up to 100% immunity is what we're looking for. So let's see. That's, Tiago is not, or Tiago is not too great. Dan, Dan, Diane, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name, I'm sorry, uh, is not as great either. Neither is Isabella. Isabella? Isabella, probably. Um, Luciana, Avelina, none of them really are that great genetically, huh? Oh, Vera's pretty good. Vera would be, okay, how does Vera... Vera's probably one we want to keep, um, because I think, because she got the fertility, she got the immunity, her size is the max we can do, I think. Um, oh, and hello to everybody who's just joining the stream. We are finishing up with our giant otter exhibit. I don't know if it'll be quite done, but we're very nearly so. Um, but if we look here, yeah, overall, I think that is better than um marina 
maybe not than Marcus, but still pretty good. So if we look back at, where'd she go? Um, right here. Is she the one we are looking at? Also, our Caymans here just have babies. Yeah, so overall, I think Vera is the one that we want to keep. Because um, she is pretty good. She is gold rated, which is good to see. Um, but let's also take a look. How old did we decide the Garyals were? I don't think we decided they're ready to be or ready to go yet. 10.5, so not yet. We're waiting for them to be 14 before any of them can be traded. And the snakes are pregnant again. And the frogs are pregnant again. Okay, so we gotta watch that. Um, and our zoo is up to three and point some stars, which is good to see. Um, that's pretty cool. All right. Um, if I go over here, we go to facilities. If we look at, I want to put in the large keeper hut. Is a thing. <laughs> And it, we do not have enough for that just yet. Let's change the speed up because that we should get more money soon, I think. Is it on an overall downward trend again? It might be. Um, it may not be, though. Maybe it'll be all right. Inspectors arriving in two months. No, I think it's on an overall upward trend. Oh, and we got another VIP guest. Let's go ahead and say hello to William C., and our frogs have had offspring. All right, let's take a look at that before the frogs get too unhappy. Uh, let's go over here. The frogs are right here. So we have a Bayami. I can never pronounce these names. I'm so sorry. And Sadia. All right, let's take a look at them. Genetics, not too great because I believe if we are looking at our adults, um, I think we can have... Where? Right here. There we go. Um, longevity is max and fertility is just below max. So I think if we're looking here, let's take a look at Ebeyame. I don't think, yep, nope. So we'll go ahead and put you in the trading center and we'll go ahead and look at Sadia, who is, um, Good longevity, but not great fertility. All right, we'll also put you in the trading center because I think if we look at exhibit trading also, oh, we've got some, um, hmm, we've got some, I, but I think we already have a female, a yellow anaconda too. But if we look at combo, combo has 83, 83. Um, oops, no, I don't want to trade them both. Um, we have 92 and 50, which is not quite as good and uh, 75 and 50. So we're gonna quick trade both of them. Um, and that should uh, help us a little bit with the finances too. And while we've got this, I'm going to go ahead and put in a large keeper hut if I can, because this will be kind of the start of a new region. So if I can put this in, let's turn that around so that it uh, should match. We'll go over here. And if we go right here, we should be able to turn this a little bit, and this should better match, right? If we go here, that's pretty much right. All right. If we do that, then I think, all right, let's hit play again, because we need to see if we can get probably a research center or a... Um, all right, I want to look at the... Because that should be low enough that we can uh, put the floor up. All right, let's pause. Well, not yet because we don't have a thousand. But this should be low enough that we can have the guest floor above and then have a stairwell down here. All right, we've got the inspector again. Uh, but that'll allow the, um, the people to get up here. And that'll be helpful. Because we definitely need them to be able to access the area. Um, so let's exit out of the group maybe. Let's name the group um, River Otter Building. Oh, that's not good. Hello? What is happening? Things are happening. Hello? What? What's going on? Well, recent thoughts? Okay, so... Oh, I guess it... Did it just, like, straight up not pay? Okay, we probably need to change salaries back up soon, but... Ay, 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 the finances are such a pain. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, I'm trying... See, the problem is... Oh, and it's without... Okay, that's why it's without power, because it's far away. That makes sense. The problem with this is uh, we don't have more finances because the zoo isn't bringing enough income, but if we try to bring in the enough income, then... <laughs> 
it's just a vicious cycle. I hope we'll get out of it though, because the uh, river otters apparently, so if we look at, where, where did I even see that? Um, if we look at our zoo overview, the most appealing animal is the giant otter. So hopefully that will um, have people, um, all right, uh, that's about what I expected. Same, same as ever. Hopefully that will have people, hopefully that'll have people um, being more willing to donate <laughs> and willing to buy things and hopefully this will help, but uh, this is just gonna be an ongoing problem, isn't it? Probably, most likely. Um, all right, vet research is complete. All right, let's go ahead, and that's okay. Oh, and the snakehead babies, right as our money drops back into the negatives. This is fine. All right, let's look at, I'm looking at the uh, uh, one who's already an adult, Esmeralda. Let's see, oh, bronze, so 83 and 50. If we look at, let's change the mother. Wait, let's look at, okay, 92 and 83, so we're, no, it's not worth keeping, um, it's not worth keeping Esmeralda, so we'll go ahead, we will send her to storage in the trading center, and then we will trade her. Um, let's see. Go ahead and quick trade. The snakes are actually semi-valuable, which can be helpful. So, let's see here. Uh, we do want to keep, um, keep this going up. What have we got going on here? No security guards, facilities without power, that's fine. Uh, here we go. I want to look at facilities... Because somewhere in here, utilities. Oh, transformer is only 500, which is good. I want to see if we can actually fit that here, which it looks like possibly yes. All right, um, that's pretty good. Let's see there. Because we can kind of put this down in the basement, but if we look at the heat map of what the guests don't like, it will reach up to the top. We need to put more scenery in is the thing. But we should be able, so, okay, let me see. Um, let's maybe build the stairwell real quickly and see. So if I go, all right, let's see. If we have, we can put it, we'll put it off to this side. That's actually not where I want to put it though. Let's go up here. So we'll go up like that. We'll go down like that. I want it to turn, though, is the problem. Um, that's not what I wanted. Oh, why is it... Is it here? Let me, let me, let me move the terrain. I think it's because of the terrain that we're having a problem here. Alright, let's get rid of that, because we gotta clear this, this whole area. It needs to be flattened. Alright, let's go up here. Yes. There we go. There. Let's go up. There. Nope, that's not what I want of you. I want you to go there. Up. Alright, um, actually we might want to circle back like, nope, not like that. Like this, but then go up again. Yeah, this is probably the best way of doing things. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want like that. But then we'll go up. And I think if we go down here, how does that connect to here? That's still too low, so we gotta keep going. We are going to have a very long staircase, huh? It's gotta be the very basement. Very, very basement. Um, let's go like that. Circle around one more time. Why can't I do that? Obstructed. Why is that? Oh, because this needs to go up again. That's right, okay. It's like, why was that specifically obstructed? All right, if we go, if we go to this, that should, okay, so that's about on that level. So then what we gotta do is we gotta go up one more. So let's go there and then we'll bring this up. Um, and then if we go right, let's switch back to normal path. Like this would be, the normal area basically so let's align to grid right here let's do this and this should be okay right if we look at our heat map is this out no it's not darn it all right um let's go back to paths and let's let's undo all that hum i guess we just gotta circle one more time then 
This is a very, very, very basement uh, area, apparently. Um, wow. Maybe some of this can be reduced a little bit, but maybe not by a whole lot. I don't know for sure. Okay, let's go down like that. That was not where I wanted it to go, though. Let's go there. And then we go up. We go back down. And this will all be enclosed so that it looks a little bit better. All right, if I go like this, though, now you have to go up quite a lot more. So let's go align to grid. Let's go here. And we will build this across. And we have this whole area. I might change the type of this at some point so that it looks a little bit nicer. But if we go here... Wait, this is actually not where it should be. We want it right here. And if we do this, and now we look at our heat map. Why? Why is there still an area that it's... Ah. Alright, um... Hmm. Maybe what we can do... So if we do a little bit of nature... And we have removed tropical. Let's look at some of the plants. We can have... Hmm. I don't know. Well, it doesn't make sense to have plants, though, is the thing. I guess we can assume that they're, like, fake plants, maybe? Um. Or if we look at these, what helps? Does having construction help? I don't know if that actually helps or not. Um, but I think if we add in, like, some plants or something, then I guess we'll just have to assume these are fake plants or something. We add in some azalea bushes. Then we can go ahead over here, and we've got to wrap up pretty soon, so I'm going to just try to finish this up. Um, if we do that, and we can add... Where are these from? These are from Temperate. So let's look at Temperate. Let's just do that to kind of stick with some that are kind of similar. Carpet moss. Are these? We could add some of these too. And that might reduce the area of the, um, the guest not liking it, pretty much. So let's go over here. And if I... Oh, we cannot afford that. Alright, so if we look here... We have most, we have reduced it quite a lot, so as long as they don't go down below that, the scenery rating is pretty low, so we probably could continue, um, reduce negative area 6% to 50, so we should be able to get it down more if we continue to add in different scenery here. And if we do this, we have to make sure we add something so that it looks like it's, a uh, get somehow able to have enough light for there to be plants. But if we look at he uh, the heat map here, yeah, okay, so it's now it's now down enough that the guests won't be bothered by it, I don't think. We might want to continue to reduce it if we can, but oh, and now we're completely out of money again. Vet research is complete at least. Uh, we are low on cash though. Alright, I really hope that doesn't continue to cause problems because we really need to be able to get this otter exhibit in so that we can stop having financial issues. Um, it would be really helpful if we get- why is- why do you have damage barriers? Hello? Hello? Alright, I guess call a mechanic. Is- is it gonna let us call a mechanic? We don't have one in the zone yet. Um, if I look- let's look at our mechanics. I guess there's some- I guess it's wearing out even naturally, so if we look at mechanics, commuting, where are you going? Um, you are checking... I don't know where you're going, actually. I hope... Why is the barrier status so abysmal with this, though? I guess the ones back here have been up for a while. Alright, I don't know. Um... Well, you will have to deal with that. All right, while our money is up a little bit, though, I'm going to work on some of the paths just a slight bit more. Um, let's go here. And then I will deselect. I do not want it to be quite that much, but I do want to go here. Oh, and what the very straight option right there, that worked. All right, let's see if we can do that here, too. Yeah, that should be good. So we'll have some sort of overlook over an exhibit, I think, or something here but we can build that in somehow. 
and this should allow us to have like a, a guest area but then we'll still have our um, area down here for the staff below which should work I hope um, is there yeah they're trying to escape and they're not even in there yet yeah pretty darn much it seems like all right so I hope that doesn't just straight up heck and break is the mechanic actually on the way oh we got another VIP guest all right Grinnell all right I hope I'm pronouncing all these names properly if we look at the zoo our one that went that has not oh do we lose the only vet oh all right what's going on here um, let's make sure, because I think one, it was one of our vets that left, and I bet it was the only one for that side. Oh, front gate left. All right. Um, I think we need to bump our vets up as well. Yeah, I don't want that to, I don't want to run out of money though, but, um, front gate left zone. What, it, what zone is this in? It should be... It should be here, right? All right, I'm going to actually stop the vets from doing research, I think. Um, I'm going to cancel out of these because they need to be able to do their job. And apparently the vet hasn't been here for a while. So we need to deal with this issue. Um, all right, animals. Let's see. Maintenance. Vet, why? I, why? Why, though? But why, though? All right, is this the vet? This is a keeper, I think. Yeah, we are, we are having problems still. <laughs> Alright, um, but I think I am just concerned, legitimately, um, is the mechanic actually on the way, or is that, you know, I think I need to probably, for now, let's go to zoo, let's go to work zones. For now, I think we got it included in here. Uh, let's Let's do this, and for now we'll include it here. And we'll work on the river otters eventually, because we definitely can't afford to hire more staff. So hopefully that means the mechanic will come and deal with it. Yeah, it looks like the mechanic is on the way to deal with it, probably. Um, and there should be access now that we have the long spiral staircase of heck. <laughs> um, should be good, I think. And I know it looks very ugly at the moment, but we will eventually be adjusting it and um, making it so that uh, it'll it'll look a little bit nicer. We'll have all this um, set up to look pretty. Yep, yeah, this poor guy has to run all the way down the stairs. I'm so sorry, eventually we'll have somebody dedicated to doing this so you don't have to run all the way over here. Um, but yeah, uh, we're, we're starting to, we're starting to get there, we're starting to get there. Um, all right, how are these guys doing? A year and four months. These guys are 11 years. And yeah, just ignore this fam. It'll get taken care of. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, thanks for dealing with that rain. That happens occasionally, but you know what? You just yeet them when they show up. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, these guys, nobody's ha having babies at the moment. So, all right. I really want to get the otters moved in because I think that will help the zoo quite a lot. Are we, okay, are we, is the barrier actually being fixed? Mechanic and route. He's still running down the stairs, ain't he? Was he able to figure out how to get here? Is he able to get in? He should be, right? Oh, he's working on it. He's just right there. Right hidden at the entrance. Thank you for fixing the barrier. We do not want the giant otters to escape. So, I think, um... Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Rain. Um, I think if we fast forward a little bit more, Inspector arriving in five months. Alright, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here, and I'm gonna put the otters in, or put the otter in and start working on... Okay, let's go to Animal Trade and... Ah, that's a good idea. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, we'll try to put the otter in and just... Alright, let's um, go ahead and we will... Where is... Can I move him? Hello? I want to... Oh, that's trade history. Okay, I was like, why is this uh, not working? But I can't move him from trade history. Let's move him in here. And we'll see if we can uh, get the exhibit set up better for him. So that uh, hopefully people will start uh, start coming over or start 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 donating to that perhaps 
and that'll help us. We kind of just have to jump in, I think, because we're running low on finances, and we are going to be wrapping up quite soon here, and I'd like to get the, um, the otters in today, if we possibly can. Yeah, it's the, the bots, I think, have a way of getting around some of the similar, or some of the normal filters, so, all right, I think if we are, we probably have a vet on the way, right, or a keeper on the way, I would hope. Yep, there we go. And he's in the zoo! So let's meet our giant otter. Let's, I'm gonna pause for now because he's not gonna be too happy. But let's take a look at him. Um, animal star rating. Apparently people really like him. But let's, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at him. Uh, here he is. Oh, he's kind of in shadow right now. So he's definitely taking a look at things. He's gonna enjoy things a lot more though once we have, uh, added in some, uh, enrichment and things. Because right now... All right, so terrain, he definitely... Okay, he's got enough deep water, um, which is very good to see. We want better plants. We want better coverage. He needs enrichment. So let's look at... Yeah, it's Gus's boy. He's here. All right, uh, let's look at nature. Uh, na no, it'd be habitat. All right, let's look for species. Giant river otter or giant otter right there. All right, underwater box feeder. Let's go down here, because I think that should work, right? Um, suitable food. Okay, nice. Uh, we got to... We got to also adjust the... Not that. We got to adjust the maintenance schedule to make sure that everybody visits on appropriate timing. And I also want to make sure because the, the guests will start the guests won't probably won't start to go back here just yet they'll probably kind of congregate at the front but i do want to add in a donation box so that there is one there um but eventually they'll have reason to go back around as well so let's see the arrival indeed um where is the donation box not staff guest facilities right yes all right 50 thankfully it's not expensive Let's put one right here at the crossroads. And um, we will go ahead and finish adjusting the terrain. Also, I want to, we gotta look at habitat. All right, it looks like, oh, he can actually navigate up that slope. That's pretty cool. All right, but let's see what he needs from his habitat because I don't see anywhere he can get out. Um, plants and coverage need to be different, but he also needs more short grass, more rock, and more sand. So let's put a lot of that in, um, yeah, fish toaster. Oh my goodness. It does look like a fish toaster. It really, really does. He is tiny compared to his enclosure, but I think he is going to be lonely if we don't find more for him soon or more companions for him soon. So we want to make sure, let's do this. Make sure we get some of that in, but he also wanted more. He definitely wants even more sand than that. So let's put some of that on the bottom. I'll try to put a lot of that on the bottom. Oh, I have it on, on no no intensity. That's why it's uh, is not working. Oh, we got our... Uh, I forgot. You can't change the... Uh, okay, water is annoying. Um, remove that. We can't change the bottom until we um, put the heck in... Until we remove the heck in water. Okay. So terrain... No, we want paint. Now we can? Oh, no, we, we can. We can. All right, I can put it back then. All right. Put the water back. Put the water back. I want the water back. There we go. All right. So you can change it. You just can't change the terrain itself, I guess. Um, let's add a little bit more of a sandy area here, perhaps, because he definitely wants some more. And we'll bring this in. Okay, we've got enough. So now we want some more rock. I'm going to put some of that up on these cliffs, because uh, that's probably a good place to have them, kind of along the cliff sides. Oh, that's way too much rock. Wait, we had too much rock then, didn't we? Okay, well now we gotta do some short grass. Let's bring the rock back down. I, yeah, I totally misread that. There's too much rock, so we wanna make it more short grass then, which is good because that is uh, what we wanna see. All right, let's kind of paint over some of the rock. Oh, now there's not enough sand though. There's too much short grass. All right, so we want really, really want more sand. Um, and now there is not enough long grass. All right, so now we'll put a little bit more long grass. Let's kind of paint some down here, just around the edges. And this should start to balance it, because we also want to paint some up here, maybe. 
There we go. Now it's in balance. All right. And we've got enough, but he doesn't have hard shelter. So what we should probably do is add in like a little rock area. Um, we want to put where would it? Oh no, it would be habitat. Um, oh, a jetty bedding plat. Oh, because he can. Oh yeah. Okay. So he could. He could sleep in the water, couldn't he? Let's add maybe a couple of those. Maybe we'll, um, we'll, we'll rotate them a little bit so that they're not quite as... But you know what? I'm gonna move it... Let's, um, let's add, like, kind of a dock area that he can sleep on. Um, and we'll try to make it... We'll add it, like, right here. No. Alright, why, why does it keep snapping? I don't know why it keeps snapping. Let's just add it, like, right here. I want to move. Hello. There we go. And is that better? Because I think that should help, right? I don't know if it will or not. Let's unpause briefly, because that'll start, I think. All right, he's got enough deep water. Recalculated that. Hard shelter. Yeah, it still says that's insufficient. So I don't really know what he wants, um, but we do want enrichment as well. Aquatic jetties. Oh, okay. So maybe, maybe what we do is we do like this, and that costs a lot, and we'll remove these <laughs> uh, now that we have like no money. Um, is he going to be okay with that amount of hard shelter though? That does not. That okay. That's that's not even helping though, is it? Why? Oh, and the Caymans are gonna have more babies. I maybe should have stopped that from happening. No, nope, I don't know why the hard shelter is insufficient. Alright, I'm gonna remove that. It's probably because he needs more, like... If I go to habitat... Not there, I wanna go to nature. We wanna look at tropical. Um... Biome. Tropical. Right. And if we look at rocks... Probably because we maybe need something more like this. So if I put rock right here and we put some more up here, that might help more. I don't know why. Will he be able to shelter under here? Will this be enough? If I add some areas that he could take a little bit of shelter in, hopefully this will be enough. I really hope this will be enough. All right, kind of add some areas that he could go in. There we go. That's better. So I guess he actually needs something like that then. All right, so his his hard shelter is enough. We need more plants, though. So let's look at plants. Um, and we want South, Amer South and Central America as well. I think it needs a roof. Yeah, I think that's part of what was going on is he didn't have enough. He was only getting it probably from the area by the gate. Um, so we want to make sure we have South Central America for our plants. Let's see if we can get, we could put some really big trees in this one probably because we have a really big, um, a really big area here. We could put some Wimba trees and maybe we can put, can even put one right up here maybe. He can't like climb out, can he? I'm a little concerned that he can climb out. I don't think he can. I would be surprised if he could, but, um, oops, not rocks. I want to look at, no, there's nowhere he can get out. All right. And he should be just fine space-wise. And I think he can get in and out. You know, I'm going to actually, oh, and we have just lost all of our money, haven't we? Uh, let's remove this though, because I don't think he needs it. He should be pretty happy now, right? I think so. Only enrichment isn't so good. And is this getting, is this getting filtered by water? This is, oh, it is being treated barely, but it is being treated. Oh, good. Okay. But I think he's actually doing all right. So he wants more enrichment. I don't know about his social. His adult population is too low though. So let's see if we can find a female otter maybe. Um, we'll look and see. It might be kind of difficult to find either that. Oops, that's the animals we have in the zoo. But I want to see if we can find... This is Caymans. All right, let's not look at Caymans. I want to find a giant otter 
and we want to filter and then we want to find a female if we can there is there's another otter named pablo oh my goodness teresa is very expensive what about guadalupe Ooh, not so great um let's compare though that's mm, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I really like that option. We gotta keep an eye out for sure, but the other one is way too expensive. Oh, he is pretty cute though, honestly. You know, he is cute in his own way. His face is a little bit he looks he looks a little bit a little bit intimidating, but he is pretty cute too. Look at him rolling around. <laughs> I think he's enjoying the sand. Um But yeah, he's very big boy. Very small in comparison to his habitat, for sure, but a big boy. And we have guests coming all the way up here now to, to see him, apparently. Uh, yeah, they're not so bad. They, it's, you know, I don't know why every single picture I've ever seen of them is scary. <laughs> but maybe they're just not photogenic. I doubt they're actually that scary in, in real life. Um, they maybe are just a little camera shy. Maybe they just don't totally appreciate cameras too much. <laughs> oh my goodness um and well in every picture that i've seen of them pretty much too has been like this otter absolutely destroying a fish or something like that uh something a little little bit a little bit frightening um but yeah all right i think do we i want i'm gonna call a keeper because it takes them a little bit to get there should call keeper call vet just to make sure that they show up the habitat i think is doing all right um but we gotta keep an eye out to see if we can find another giant otter because I don't want him to be lonely. We gotta, gotta find another otter. Uh, but they seem to be in short supply. Uh, so if we look at animal trading, let's refresh the list. See if there's anybody new. Because I think they only list for like... No, um... I, yeah, they li yeah, I guess that's all that there is maybe. Maybe what we could do, because his genes are pretty good, let's look at... Okay, he's got a five-star rating, and he's not all that old, but maybe what we could do, because I think... Let's see. Not uh, interspecies. So, they can have large groups. It might be worth seeing if we can find... Let's just look at what all otters are available, because we can find. I, I think they're not necessarily opposed to having other um, others of the same of the same sex in the species or in the, in the exhibit with them. All right. Well, it looks like oh, S Sylvia. Have we? Do we? Oh, Sylvia's not not got good genes either. Um, let's. None of these guys have good gene good genes either. Let's. I think we're. We'll go ahead and we will. Um, hmm. I'm because we could get we could get um because we'd only ha we'd only have to designate one and it probably will be will be Pablo that we would use for any sort of a breeding program. Uh, well, let's actually look though because maybe maybe who knows maybe Sylvia would have um have better uh, potential. Actual holy smokes! Okay. Um. Wow, that is not what I expected. Okay, I guess we're adopting Sylvia then. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and we'll adopt her, we'll put her in quarantine. Um, and that should solve the problem, because I was gonna say, we could get a, we could get another male, and then just when the time comes when we do have females, only designate one of them to be the breeding male and not let the other breed. But, uh, apparently, the matchup with uh, with Sylvia is actually not bad. Yeah, don't, don't worry, we're actually gonna be wrapping up soon, we've gone a little bit over time. Um, let's go ahead and just get... Uh, Sylvia into quarantine, but yeah, we'll s hopefully see you next time. We'll be streaming again soon, and, and then taking a little break for Christmas uh, before coming back. But yeah, I think we will go ahead and wrap up now because we do have Pablo in his habitat, and soon he will no longer be lonely because we will have gotten him another um, another otter to hang out with, and we'll work on dressing this place up a little bit more in the future. But I think we are going to go ahead and wrap up here because we are running a little bit late. Uh, and I do apologize for that. Oh, he looks happy in the water. He definitely is enjoying himself in the water, that's for sure. As he's kind of swimming here. Oh, and he, he can go all the way under. Yeah, look at this. He's got a whole lot of water area to swim around. And I do like how the exhibit turned out, even if it needs a little bit more dressing up. 
but we'll go ahead and end off here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys hopefully tomorrow. Uh, but until then, we'll go ahead and wrap up here. Yeah, he's diving. Well, look at him. He can get down to his feet or two, which I hope has food in it. I'm not sure if it does or not, but, but hopefully so. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. And uh, until then, this is Jay, over and out.